The story begins with a wide shot of St. Agnes Church, nestled in the heart of the village, its looming spire piercing the stormy sky. The church appears ancient and ominous, casting a shadow over the village. Inside the church, Father Thomas, an aging priest, kneels at the altar, his lips moving in prayer. As he prays, the camera pans to the dark corners of the church, where faint whispers seem to echo. Father Thomas, now in the confessional, listens to a parishioner's confession. Suddenly, an icy breeze sweeps through the confessional, extinguishing the candle. Father Thomas's face contorts in fear. Villagers gather in a dimly lit tavern, gossiping about the strange occurrences at the church. They exchange stories of shadowy figures and eerie noises, their faces filled with dread. One investigator, Sarah, climbs the church's bell tower, her flashlight flickering in the dark. She reaches the top and freezes, sensing a presence behind her. Back inside the church, the investigators discover a hidden crypt beneath the altar. With great effort, they pry open the stone lid, revealing the skeletal remains of a nun, Sister Agnes, and her diary. Sarah, holding Sister Agnes's diary, reads aloud from its pages, recounting the doomed love story between Sister Agnes and a forbidden lover. As she reads, ghostly apparitions begin to materialize around her. The church comes alive with supernatural energy. Ghostly figures glide through the pews, and the whispers grow louder. The investigators struggle to maintain their composure. Father Thomas, upon hearing the investigators' findings, confesses his role in the tragic love story. He reveals that he had been a witness to the forbidden romance and had kept it secret for decades. The investigators, armed with their knowledge, confront the restless spirits in the church. A chilling encounter unfolds as they attempt to communicate with the vengeful souls. Amid the confrontation, the crypt begins to shake and the walls crumble. The spirits are unleashed, and chaos ensues as the church itself seems to rebel against their presence. In the midst of the chaos, a blinding light envelops the church, and the spirits are banished forever. The church grows still, and an eerie silence descends. Father Thomas, his hair turned white with the ordeal, kneels before the altar, thanking God for the release of the tormented souls. The weight of his guilt is finally lifted. The story concludes with a shot of St. Agnes Church in the early morning light. Now serene and peaceful, the village, once plagued by fear, begins to heal, and life returns to normal.